Hey folks, Mike Klangensmith, All Seasons RV. Uh, today I'm going to be talking about the 2017 Grey Wolf 19RR, and this is the interior features of this camper. Uh, I did my exterior on it not too long ago. Uh, the rain's going to hold off for a little bit, so I think we're good there. Uh, again, I'm, the biggest feature on, on, the, on the new 17s versus the, the older ones is the ramp door. It's a full width door instead of how it used to be where there was gaps on each side. Uh, I mean, this is a full length door. Walking into it, you can already tell that this has the screen walls that come down and they, they have either the screen wall or there is a blackout net on it as well. But I just ended up just rolling that up for us uh, so we can kind of see in the coach. Uh, you do have a spot for a TV in here. Uh, all your hookups are up top on the wall. On this side, here's a nice little couch, table, place to eat, whatnot, where, uh, or even play a couple card games uh, if it's raining outside like, like it just kind of did on me. Um, there are four tie-downs in here. You have two on the back, and then you also have two up front. Also with the kitchen, you have a brand new uh, countertop here with zero T-molding, which is a huge plus. Uh, thing with T-molding, after time, especially on the corner right here, it, uh, it shrinks or, or expands and, and you get a big gap right here and it's really hard to, to fix that over time. Uh, all your control panels are right when you walk in the door, so you can monitor your tanks, your fresh water, black water, gray water, your battery level. Um, also, this is where the hot water heater and the pump switches are. This is a power awning, so you have all the, uh, the buttons for it here. Here's for the power awning, the outside lights, obviously the interior lights. This is all LED lighting inside, uh, really brightens the coach up. You do have a nice netting overhead storage up top. That's more for like helmets, uh, gear, equipment, or if you want to put clothes or, or even a little pantry area up there, I mean you can as well, I guess. Um, I'm going to go ahead and flip this couch and table up. That way you can kind of see uh, the full space of this 19RR. I'll be back in just a moment. Alright, so I just flipped up the, uh, the couch, moved the table and everything up front. Uh, this is the full cargo area in the 19RR. Uh, took me maybe a minute, if that, to flip everything up and out of the way. It's real easy, very simple to do. Um, but again, this is, this is the cargo area, great for, you know, a bike or a four-wheeler. Uh, if you're lucky, you might get two bikes in here, a bike and a four-wheeler. Just all how you can, uh, do that puzzle game, basically, what it breaks down to. Uh, this will come with the spare tire. Spare tire can just be, uh, sat either there, under the bed up front, or in the pass, pass-through storage up front as well. Um, great spot for that spare tire, or it could just be hidden right under the, the couch right there. Um, moving more towards the back or the front of the coach should I say. Here's your radio system that is a it's a Furion. It is a AM FM CD USB. It's got all the features that the new age radios have. Also it acts as your DVD player as well. So once everything's hooked up with the RCA cables to your television you can run DVDs and, and that will run through uh, all of the the TVs that you have set up to that uh, RCA cable, basically. You have tons of storage here and here. A couple shelves on the bottom. Uh, you do have your converter box. Basically what this is, your control panel and breaker box. That's the brains of the op operation, basically. Uh, you do have a carbon monoxide detector. This will come with the smoke detector as well. Um, you have indoor-outdoor speakers. Your AC unit is a 13,500 BTU AC unit, and you do have a 20,000 BTU furnace. On the kitchen side, you have a great pull-down residential spray nozzle with a sink cover, which on the back of this sink cover can act as your um, cutting board. One giant big sink, which is really nice, that's acrylic, uh, will really hold up after time. Here's your stove top. This is a new feature they started doing, which is kind of like the stainless steel package on the oven, the microwave, microwave and the range hood. Um, also in the, the backsplash, I mean, this is new. That's textured. That's, that's real. Um, 
With this glass top, it offers more counter space. And as well, when you flip this up to do the cooking that you're going to do inside, uh, it acts as a backsplash, so you're not dirtying up the back of the camper, uh, the back wall of the camper right there when you're cooking the bacon or whatever you're cooking that day. Um, also, new features that we have going on here is the uh, cabinet doors. You have this kind of uh, textured glass, also LED over that, LED lights over that. You have a skylight up above with a cover, kind of block out most of that UV ray. Uh, easy to open, easy to close. Same with all the windows. All the windows will have this, these shades. Easy to come down, easy pull up. Uh, moving to the front, here's your uh, refrigerator. It is gas or electric. Um, 6.3 cubic inch uh, refrigerator. I mean, it's more standard, but I mean, it's it'll do the job of what you need, and it is Norcol. Biggest overlooked feature of the Norcol is the deep, deep dish in the uh, freezer area. That way, just in case, say you lose power, you're out of propane, you have no way to to refrigerate anything, anything that defrosts in the freezer itself, it's going to get caught right here in that deep dish. It's not going to just drain along the side and, and create basically a headache for you. Uh, you do have a little bit more storage right under the fridge. I know it's not much, but they're utilizing all the dead space in this camper. Uh, two more. Uh, here's a wardrobe closet and also more shelves and again another little hideaway maybe a liquor cabinet or something <laughs> you do have a queen size bed up front let me pause this real quick all right all back to normal so like I was saying you have a full queen size bed up front it's 60 by 74 uh, really good size bed for a 19 footer especially for a toy hauler Awesome new uh, decor that uh, Grey Wolf Cherokees just have been putting in their campers. Do have wardrobe on this side with the mirror. Tons of storage right there. Also overhead storage, which goes all the way through. It's hard to see because it's so dark. Um, last thing I'd like to talk about is the bathroom. So again, same countertops in the bathroom, no tea molding, foot flush toilet, you do have a nice medicine cabinet. Hey guys, <laughs> it's a little hot today. Good size medicine cabinet for whatever you need to put in there. Uh, awesome, fantastic fan up top. Keep this door open, turn that fan on, have a couple windows open. It's gonna draw air through this entire coach. Makes it really nice. Have a good skylight above the shower. And it is more or less a tub shower. Uh, you're not getting a lot of dirt and grime all over when you're cleaning off after a muddy day of uh, Bahan. And there's basically the spray nozzle and the hot and cold. So again, I'll do this in the mirror. Thanks again for watching, guys. I appreciate it. Um, if you have any questions or want to inquire about the pricing of this camper, and again, it weighs about 4,300 pounds, uh, feel free to give me a call. Again, my name is Mike Klingensmith. Work at All Seasons RV in Streetsboro, Ohio. Number up here is 330-564-0222. Thanks again. Have a great day.